Hello and welcome to this session of Talking Tech, Women and Girls in ICT. My name is Kimoku and today I'm delighted to be representing Globi, a tech company on a mission to create a better future with drones through the world's first crowd droning platform. And I'm excited to be having a discussion about tech and tech careers with Helena Semcio, the CEO and the founder of Globi. She has been named world's top 50 women in tech by Forbes, received Sweep of the Year in Innovation 2020, ranked as one of the most powerful business women in Sweden, named among the top women to watch in the drone industry, nominated for Digital Influencer of the Year, and has been featured as a drone queen on BBC. Talking Tech is a series celebrating girls and women in tech being recorded around the world between Girls in ICT Day 2020 and Girls in ICT Day 2022. Girls in ICT Day is an international day marked on fourth Thursday of each April. In 2021, Girls in ICT Day is on the 22nd of April. The objectives of Girls in ICT Day are to help create a global environment that empowers and encourages girls and young women to consider studies and careers in the growing field of information and communication technologies. The Talking Tech series is brought to you by the ITU, UNICC, and the Office of UN Secretary General's Envoy on You, and is in the support of EQUALS, the Global Partnership for Gender Equality in the Digital Age. Globi is pleased to be partner on this session today. The goals of the series are interest and inspire the girl and young women with information about a range of ICT careers that can be had. Bring before a broader audience some of the role model women in tech and share information about their career journeys and work. Offer diverse examples of how ICT is being used to support achievement of sustainable development goals and other UN goals. Showcase initiatives that are working with girls to support them in ICT studies or future ICT careers. Provide girls and young women in tech with a leadership opportunity to represent and promote in girls in tech organization with which they are involved and promote it to a broader international audience. In this session, I'm going to introduce you to Helena Semcio, the founder of Globi. Globi has the objective of updating clients with quality data. As part of this initiative, drones have been used to transport medical supplies to rural areas, prevent natural disasters, and in many more, many other missions in health category. Globi is connected with 84 countries, and I think it's amazing what Helena and her team is doing, and I love not only the female leaders, but also how much of this industry is focused on helping vulnerable communities. For more information, you can visit www.globe.com, spelled as G-L-O-B-H-E, or Helena's LinkedIn account. She is interested in getting more women into the technology sector, specifically speaking, drone operation, which I truly admire and excited about. So I'm delighted to now shift to a conversation with Helena Samsio, the founder and the CEO of Globe. Could you explain when and how did you get into technology? Yes, absolutely. First of all, thank you, Kimoto, for that very nice introduction. And thanks so much for being here today. I started Globi a little over five years ago. And the reason for why I started Globi was that I saw a big opportunity with drones, both as a tool to collect data and also to initially in Globi history, we also used the drones to transport medical cargo. Back then, it was for fun. And I realized and my work back then was as a management consultant and I was working to introduce mobile health apps into the healthcare sectors, especially with the focus on Eastern and Southern Africa. And by doing that, I also realized that the drones that were flying were also in a way an extended version of the mobile phone. And you could do some really great things with the drones. But at that time in 2015, there was no service provider who actually made it possible to request the service from a drone and use it as a way to improve global health and, and other type of critical needs that we are seeing. So that was the background of Globi and Globi is short for global health. So the health sector is very close at heart to what we're doing. But today we also work not just in health, we work in environment and water and infrastructure as well. Just like you mentioned in the introduction, we are working or we have pilots and drones available in 84 countries, and we are working towards a global coverage to be able to help support where needed, basically. So that is the development of Globi over the past years, focusing on drone data only and especially image data so that we can help get an updated view of the world, which, you know, is helping out in, in many different ways today. Thank you so much. Could you describe your work in technology as to what you do now at Globi? or what your plans with regards to Globi, or if you're involved in any other work in technology that you would like to share, please do as well, if you don't mind. 
Yeah, absolutely. I truly enjoy the work at Globi because it connects so many of my own interests and connects so many vital opportunities, basically. So I do like to work in innovative technology. I do like the technology itself, but I mostly like what technology is able to do today. And I also like the fact that technology is the way to scale something. So with that being said, it's quite fascinating to work with technology and be able to scale an initiative and also to be able to apply it in a good way. For instance, our drones are currently finding mosquito eggs in Malawi, hopefully, you know, being part of preventing future malaria outbreaks. So there's this really neat way of being able to work with technology, adapt it in a way that truly makes a difference, and then also being able to scale it. So that's what's really fascinating me with the work of Globi. Besides that, I'm also quite passionate of involving and trying to inspire and educate young girls and hopefully you know, be be part of an inspiration that can result in more girls entering tech industries. And obviously the drone industry is close at heart for me because I do see a lot of potential. I think that the wider of diversity that goes into the drone sector and the tech sector in general, then that also means that the wider type of applications and services are created and that's needed today in society so that we just don't focus on certain type of applications created by certain type of people. So I think that we all need to try to engage as a diverse audience as possible in the tech sector and help develop and create a future with tech that has something for everyone in it. Thank you so much. Have you encountered any challenges along the way? And if so, how did you overcome them? Yeah, absolutely. Back when I started Globe in 2015, the drone industry was very male dominated. It is still male dominated today, but we're seeing more girls and women entering into the drone sector. And I would say there was both pros and cons of being one of the few women involved. The challenge obviously involved many times that your words weren't taken serious. It was a little bit more frowned upon in a way, and you really had to prove yourself before you were taken seriously. So you had to have sharp elbows yourself and you have to, you know, invite yourself to the table because that didn't happen automatically. And I think now, you know, a few years later after Globy has, you know, created the platform that we have and the success that we had so far, that has changed. And now you're being invited, invited to the table, so to say. I think that it was definitely a challenge in the beginning and to some extent sometimes still is. And that's also what I'm trying to, you know, encourage in my work that when I started in the drone industry some six years ago, it was not so many familiar faces to be seen. You know, you were most of the time the only woman in the room. So I'm hoping now, together with, you know, a bunch of other really inspiring women in the drone industry today, that we can, you know, be the familiar faces for the next generation of girls that enter the drone and tech industry, basically. Wow, awesome. Since this is a series about girls and women in technology, do you have any career or tech advice or lessons that you've learned that you'd like to share for the girls and younger women in tech or for the girls and younger women with a passion for technology? Definitely. I would say that first is not to limit your views on what technology is. I think that that technology scope has been shaped by a few individuals with a limited mindset. And I think today the technology is so much broader and wider than that. So I like to encourage everyone that has an idea and, you know, get sometimes met with the feedback, oh, that's not technology or that's not real technology. Well, maybe it is just not discovered as real technology yet, or perhaps, you know, that is your push is needed in that area. So don't get disencouraged by someone not telling you that your idea is worth something because there are so many new ideas that are waiting to be discovered. And I say, you know, living in 2021 today, pretty much everything that you do is related to tech in one way or another. And I think there's definitely a need for the tech industry to broaden its scope in what's a related technology and especially the ones who seem to who seem to sometimes think that they know technology better than someone else. And I don't think that's always the truth. I think that technology has many different faces and many different aspects and many different contexts and many different application areas. So first advice is definitely don't be disencouraged. And yeah, just because you have an idea that hasn't been tried before, doesn't mean that it's not a good idea. So try to be firm and definitely try to dare to explore your ideas. Thank you so much. Last but not least, what do you like the most about your job in technology? or just in general technology. I know you mentioned about this earlier, but just wondering, like, is there anything specific or is there anything in general that you really like about technology or your job? Yeah, absolutely. I would say two things. And one is the diverse group of people that you meet. Since we're also a global company, even though, you know, during COVID, you're not traveling yourself so much, but you're meeting a lot of people either physically or digitally online, and you really get to explore many different cultures and really get to understand what the world looks like. And I think that's a tremendous value for both myself and the company that we are truly global and truly 
people get to interact like that. And then obviously working with technology is also a way to truly work close to challenges that we're facing today and really work hard to try to solve old challenges in a new way. And that sometimes, you know, obviously takes time. And sometimes, you know, it's frustrating that you cannot solve something fast enough. But when you do, it becomes a really big award and you feel like you're part of a bigger movement and that you're actually part of creating a better future with drones, which is the vision of Globy and very much the vision of myself. So for me, that is truly fascinating. When my time allows, I love that I have the possibility to do things like this and get to interact with girls and women like you, Kimucho. I think that's fantastic. And I would love for you also to share a little bit of your own background and why technology is a subject close to your heart. Sure. I think I became interested in technology because of my parents' encouragement initially. But as a student, I'm always using technology. And I have to update my technological knowledge as technology updates itself. So in my program at U of T, I have also been exposed to several different softwares. Like they were really cool because I was exposed to them for the first time, like ArcGIS and R programming and several more. And furthermore, in my past volunteer work, technology also has been a key part. For instance, right now I'm volunteering with the Canadian Heart and Stroke Foundation as a data migration volunteer, only improving my knowledge in tech as the time progresses. Yeah, no, that's truly fascinating. And yeah, I think more people like you are needed, Kimocho. And I think it's fantastic when you do have one interest that might be in health or improving the health of others. And then you have an interest in technology. And, you know, perhaps one day that will lead to you becoming a tech entrepreneur and solving a health need with technology. And I think that's really fascinating. And yeah, me, myself, I think that girls and women have a lot to contribute there because I think in general, girls and women to a larger extent seem to really care about social challenges, environmental challenges and so forth as well. And that we're able to perhaps come with new ideas ideas and new ways of tackle these challenges by using technology. So there is big room for everyone's ideas. I'm very happy and thrilled to meet with you, uh, Kimucho, and wish you the best of luck in your studies and in your future work. Thank you so much. So that wraps up our session for today for Talking Tech, Women and Girls in ICT. Thank you so much, Helena Sencio, for your time. I really, really enjoyed our chat today. And thanks so much to our viewers for watching.